Hey, I'm Landon in Spill Canvas. I'm going to talk about my gear, everything we got going on here. So I just got this recently. This is the uh, David Eden World Tour WT800. I've only had it for about two, three shows now. Because I had an SVT Classic from Ampeg that just kept dying on me. It just kept shutting off in the middle of shows and stuff. So I needed something that was solid state that would be a little bit easier to deal with, and a little bit lighter. So I was sick of hauling that thing around as well. But um, the two shows I've used it, it's been great. I'm still kind of learning about it, everything it can do. But I spent a little bit of time EQing it, and I'm really happy with how it's sounding now. I've always wanted to play at Eden, so now it's just a little bit of a, um, gonna take a little more time to figure out everything it can do, but so far, so good. I had actually played on a David Eden on a uh, show that we, like a college gig we did, it was, it was part of the back line, and I just loved the sound. And I, uh, when I was younger, I toured with a band called Sonic Flood, where I was just helping them out. And their bass player was using Eden as well. I love the sound of that too. So I was like, hey, might as well try it out. I found a guy in Portland that was selling it on Craigslist. So he came and met us at the venue, and the rest is history. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, this is the Ampeg uh, 8x10. I've had this since 2006, and this thing has just been a beast for me. No issues. I need that wall of sound behind me. They've been trying to get me to downsize. I just can't do it. I gotta have my, my wall of low end behind me. So yeah, this guy's been hanging in there. I have to push this thing a little bit more than my SVT, which is weird, because this actually has more watts, but it has the, uh, the uh, limiter here. And I've been hitting the limit a little bit when I do like some popping stuff. I really, really dig in, it sometimes hits the limit. But uh, I got it pretty much dialed in now to where I'm happy. I can get, I can get just to where I need to be, because Bryce hits really hard. So I have to push the gain and the master. As you can see, I got it pushed pretty good here. Ideally, I'd want to keep my gain about right there. But since Bryce smashes so hard, I got to push it a little bit to get over him, so I can have enough behind me to feel like I'm on stage. You know, <laughs> I don't go all out on chords or anything, and just kind of just to get by there. Pretty simple. I just like the straight tone of the bass. Kind of let my fingers do most of the tone that I need. and No pedals or anything, just a tuner. And just run dry. It's just the kind of how I've always played. So, so this is a uh, Fender Precision Bass 72 reissue. This is the second one I've had of these. I actually, The first one I had, that I had all worn in. I loved how it was going. It got stolen in Orlando. So I just basically replaced it with the exact same one but brand new and uh, I have really dry hands so I noticed with active bases if I would like slide up to an octave I would get a lot of the all that stuff so I need the precision bass just that kind of nice dry almost not a dead tone but more of a you know a dry tone for me so yeah this is my guy that I'm probably gonna rock with till I'm done gigging I love this guy so and then if I need, I sometimes do like mutes. If I need a little bit more of a dead tone, more of a muted tone, or I like, you know, really dig in if I need to get, just kind of whatever I need to get out of it, I can, just from years of playing it, knowing how it handles. So, I don't know if I could play any other bass, honestly. <laughs> um, I use the Ernie Ball, God, I can't even think of the top of my head, the, the gauge. It's the pink pack. I know it's the pink pack. <laughs> Whatever gauge that is, that's what I've always put on this. The weird thing about this bass is it's actually backwards from how you think it's tuning. So this way actually tunes up, this way actually tunes down, which is different from the uh, jazz bass I had, but now it's just kind of second nature. First few shows I was like, oh, I'm tuning the wrong way. And I go the other way, but yeah, pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple setup. Been using this same setup, I guess, aside from the Eden since 2006, 2007. So, pretty much found what I liked and never departed from it. So, <laughs> pretty simple. Thanks for checking out my gear. I'm Landon with the Spill Canvas. Come check us out. We're going to be touring all over the country, all over the next few years. So, 